Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take Enter a look at how you can turn off your Apple Watch 5, 6, or 7 screen curtain without an iPhone. So let's say if you do not have the iPhone with you, uh, how do you do? How do you actually turn off uh, the screen curtain? Now the way you do this is you need to um, guess Enter passcode. Uh, the password on the screen because if you have a password on your watch then it will, it will be a little bit harder. You need to press on the cram button here. So you might have to press on it twice. 11.49 a.m. Enter passcode. So when you press on it twice, it will ask you to enter the passcode. And this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna turn on the screen so you can actually see it. And uh, 11.50 a.m. By seeing this, you will be able to guess where the numbers are. So I'm gonna turn off screen off. curtain. And now I'm gonna double press on this button here. Watch face. Home. Okay, so Home. because Watch I'm, I'm my phone is pretty close to me, so that's why uh, it is unlocked. Clock. So I'm going Watch to face. turn Enter on screen curtain on. So screen curtain off. this is the password right here. So on this password here, you can see on the crown button there are one, two, three. Below the crown button are uh, four, five, six, and just around here is seven, eight, nine, and the last one is zero. So you kind of need to guess. The password on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to turn on screen curtain and then you double press on it. Enter passcode. You say enter passcode, you need to tap on the number twice. So here I put in one. One. And then you double tap. And then you should hear a vibration feedback. It go it make a tick noise. That means you have successfully entered one digit already. So here screen you can see I have successfully entered in one digit. So you need to tap on it first. Nine. So it say nine and then you need to double tap on it to put in the passcode. So now I tap on number six right here. So I turn screen on screen curtain. curtain. And then I tap on number six. Six. And then double tap. And then three. Three. Double tap. Once you put in the correct uh, passcode, it should allow you to lock onto the screen. So I'm going to try to put in the correct password now. 11.51 a.m. Okay, so once you put in the correct um, password or the, the passcode it should take you Screen curtain back to your watch face like this it should be on your watch face like this Moving. okay and the next step is to double press on the crown button to take you to the setting menu so here I'll turn back on my uh, screen curtain Screen curtain on. okay and I will double press by double, by double pressing on the crown button it will take you to settings so here Screen you can see off. we are now in settings. Okay. Now another thing before we actually go into settings, um, let's try this method first. So you can try to use Siri. So I'm going to turn on uh, screen curtain here. Screen okay. Curtain so off. once you are on the on the watch face, you can press and hold on the cram button and ask Siri to turn off voiceover. So I'm going to ask Siri to turn off voiceover. Settings. Press and hold Settings. on the cram button. Hey Siri, turn off. Voice over. Voice over off. And that is one way to do it. To, is to press and hold on the crown button to open up Siri. And you ask Siri to turn off voice over. Once voice over is switched off, then screen curtain will automatically turn off as well. So give that a try first. Okay. And if that failed, if uh, some for some reason you cannot use Siri to switch it off, you can also press on this button three times, uh, depending if you have configured or turn on accessibility shortcuts or not. So you can see here on my iPhone, right here, uh, in my voiceover, in, um, sorry, in my accessibility at the bottom here, I have turned on accessibility shortcuts. And so I can triple click on my cram button to turn off uh, voiceover. So here, if I turn on Voice over, and if I have uh, over screen curtain turn screen on, I can triple click on here. One, two, three. Clock. Okay, so one, two, three. Voice over off. Now you can see it say voice over off in my screen curtain automatically switch off, and now I can see the screen again. So those are the two different ways how you can uh, quickly turn off. Uh, voice over or the screen curtain. However, if Tao's method doesn't work, then you will need to reset your device while the screen is switched off. So let me get back into 
uh, the watch up here and I'll turn on uh, voice over now again uh, we are back at the, at the watch face with voice, voice on. with voice of on so Screen like like I said before from the watch face you double press on the crown button here to Set, go, settings. To go into settings so once you're in settings what you want to do is use this crown button and scroll down like this David Okay, so we scroll down, scroll down, General. and when you hear it say general, you want to tap on it. So you might need to kind of like guess where it is on the screen. So if you follow my methods, it should be around here. So I'm going to turn on screen curtain. Screen curtain on. Okay, so now general. it's dark. So you can tap around the screen here. Notifications. General. When you use when you hear it say general, then you double tap on it. About. Okay, so it's about. It means I'm pressing on the wrong uh, key, so we need to go back. Screen As you can see. Off. Okay, so actually we are in general. Sorry, so we are in general now. So once you are in general, you need Screen to go off. down. You can use this uh, crown button here back to go button. down. General heading. About. Software update. So you can go all the way down. Orientation. So you might want to go all the way down to the bottom. Where it says reset. reset. There you reset. go. You can see it says reset. Now I'm just going to turn Screen on so you get an reset. idea what it looks like on the watch. Back, back button. So back button, you go down. General. Heading. About. Down. About. Software update. Orientation. Background at re return to club. Nightstand mode. Okay, so you scroll all the way down. Reset. And it say reset, and then once you hear it say reset at the bottom, you double tap on that. So I turn on screen curtain, screen curtain and on. I'll double tap on this. Erase all content and settings. So it's erase all content settings. Screen curtain. So it's on. around up here, just below the buttons. Okay. Screen so curtain on. you double tap on that. Erase all content and settings. Double tap on that. Okay. So after enter you, passcode. after you double tap on that, it will ask you to enter the passcode. So I'll turn off. Screen curtain off. This is what it looks like. Okay, so you put in your passcode again. The number one, two, three keys is aligned, has is aligned with the crown button here. And below that Enter is passcode. four, five, six around here. And you've got seven, eight, nine, zero, and cancel. So you try to tap somewhere on the screen and hear the feedback. So let's say I put in one, two, three, four, you can hear it like this. Screen curtain on. One. Double tap one. And then you choose two. two. When I say two, you double tap on it. And then you tap on three. three. Double tap on it. And then four. four. Double tap on it. Once you put in the correct passcode or the pin, then it will allow you to proceed. So here, I will try to put in the correct passcode. Media. Okay, Data. once you put in the correct passcode, it will go to the screen. Okay. All media. Data. And settings will okay, be it will speak out the content. You can use the crown button to go down. Button. It will say cancel. And then if you scroll down Screen again, erase all. it says button. erase all. It's around here. So the button is around here. So you want to tap on it. So you can even tap on erase it to here. So you can hear it says erase all button. Erase all button. And then what Screen you want to do on. is double tap on that. So you double tap on where it says erase all. So you double tap. And then from erase there, all content and, settings. and so erase all content and settings. And once it has reset it, you can now um, go back and set up your Apple Watch again. Now it is tedious, um, time consuming, a lot of guesswork. But um, if you do not have your iPhone with you, you can see that it is uh, unpairing uh, from the Apple Watch. Uh, this is the only way uh, you can uh, turn off screen curtain. And once you have done that, you'll be able to use your watch again. So hopefully this will help you out. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.